Thank you. So we're going to go through our level one patterns first. We're going to start with the 13 and under. Um, a few of the things that were brought to our attention is the 13 and under pattern for the level one. We want to make sure that we stay off the wall for all patterns of where judges are going to be. The judges will be on opposite sides of the arena depending on what arena you show in. That one, yeah. Yeah. So for the level one patterns, um, even though it says we are going to start from the gate, they are going to have you start inside the arena where Jess is. Yep. Oh, yeah, and the cones are not for this pattern. There will be no cones in your pattern. The cones are set up for the level two and the level three pattern. So we're going to do the 13 under first for the level one. There's no hand gallop in this pattern. Sit trot, two thirds of the line. Making sure that our horse is moving forward. We're using our whole arena. The point of this class is to make sure that we are performing younger horses or older horses um, and teaching them to do the tracking work towards over fence classes. So they want to see nice, big, open patterns that are teaching the horse proper pattern work to approach fences. Really good placement for her posting trot. Using her arena nicely and shaping her horse in the direction of where it's going. This is a walk for a simple lead change. So only a few strides with the walk, regroup, lope back off. They do. And then exit at a walk or a trot. So we're going to do the same pattern now for the level 1, 14 through 18. Uh, this pattern shows an extended or a hand gallop down the wall closest to the audience. Starting in the arena, as shown, sitting trotting two-thirds of the line, and a left diagonal one-third of the line. Cantering around, nice big circle. Riding her horse forward into the bridle. Back to her center line. Right diagonal, around the corner, at the top of the circle, we lope off left lead. And then we pick in, up our hand gallop. We're coming across the arena just above center where we do our simple lead change to the walk. Right lead, turning so that our judges don't, we, we can be seen so our judges don't have to hunt for us. She stops, she backs, and she's exiting at a walk or a trot. Is there any questions for the level one patterns? Yes. Yes. Correct. For your circle to the right and then your circle to the left. Yes. It's up the center line both times. Any other questions?
So we're going to do our level two pattern next. I'm going to give just a second to study it because it's completely different. Um, this pattern, you are going to start from the gate. This pattern will be performed in barn eight on Sunday. Even though the patterns on the bottom, some, some of them say performance arena, it is barn eight. You got it. Okay. And Patty said if anybody has conflicts between the two egg patterns that run that day, just make sure you check with your ring swords at each gate and tell them that you have conflicts and they'll work with best they can to move you guys around. So are we gonna be coming out in that gate again? Or do you want to come in? Um well, I guess barn eight I think it's one gate. Yeah, there's only one gate in Barnet, but and you do start in the gate because you're gonna walk through the gate. You're not gonna start in the arena. So Random. All right, so the first uh, um, element of this pattern is from the gate, walk into the arena, trot right diagonal. When she's walking into the arena, Patty emphasized on flow and forward and walking up into the bridle, having connection to your horse's mouth. Are you good? Walking in, turning to the right, picking up our right diagonal, staying off the rail so the judges can see you in barn eight. When you get to the center, across from X, we're gonna go into our two point trot. And then we're gonna sit trot a half circle. Down to the center line. Picking up our right lead, and making another half circle. And she's gonna find her diagonal line out of this corner. And she's gonna change leads above the center, but in the, down the center line. When she gets straight, she gets into her hand gallop and comes back up to the center line where she's gonna collect her canter. When she gets to the center, we trot right diagonal, make a nice small loop. Back down to her start spot is where she's gonna stop. She's gonna back and she's gonna exit at a walk. It's very specific, it says walk. Make sure you exit at a walk. Your patterns are, um, her patterns are all the way at the other end. <laughs> Does anybody need to see that pattern demonstrated again or have any questions? Yes. Can you do it again? Yes. Yes, she can. All right, so I had it correctly. Yeah, you went straight. Then That's a little okay. smaller. Yeah, I made that smaller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're just waiting for Ryan to retrieve our patterns so we can learn the next pattern. <laughs> she yeah, they asked if she could do pattern two one more time. Okay. 
Okay, so she's walking in the arena, turns a nice sharp right, picks up her right diagonal. She's gonna start over. Trotting on right diagonal. Nice forward trot. Center line, we're gonna pick up our two point trot. Going down to our sit trot in a nice half circle, back towards the center line. Right lead, another smaller half circle. That was a little bit more appropriate size. Riding around our end, finding our diagonal line towards our lead change, which is on the center line, but above center. Very good. Finishing our diagonal line. Once we get straight, we get up into our hand gallop <coughs> and gallop towards our center line. Once we get to our center line, we're gonna sit, collect canter, break to our right diagonal, right before we get to center. Try a nice, tight arc without losing our forward motion or flow. Halting and backing. Any questions? Okay. All right, so we're gonna move on to the 13 and under prelims, level three prelims. Yes. Yes. That's a great question. For the level two, how far up should the stop be? Because it shows that it's even with where you start your pattern, but that would be like up in the fence. So it shows you. Yeah, they don't want to use the fence to stop. So probably deep into the arena, but you're not going to want to use the fence when you think. Is Patty yeah. here? I'll see if Patty's here. Is Patty here? No, Patty. So we'll say to clarify to this, yeah. We, so to clarify, we don't want to stop. We don't want to use the fence to stop. So they want to see you stop before, a good distance away from the fence, but more down farther into where you start. You're welcome. Okay, and make sure that you're not running into the next person that's getting ready to go. So maybe, are we waiting for the next person to start? So as, like, as they'll be in the gate? Okay, so as you finish, you're gonna wait for the next person to start their pattern for your, you to exit the arena. Perfect. Dad, do you wanna introduce, just tell Michelle Tidwell's gonna, are you done with pattern two, or level two? Yes. Do you wanna introduce Michelle Tidwell? She's just gonna talk to him for just a minute. Sure, sure. I'm gonna give the mic to Michelle. Yeah, okay, so we have a guest speaker who's gonna talk about, um, I'm talking about our fundraising, that we do these clinics so that we can raise money. Neutrina matches every dollar that we make. Um, the last three clinics have been the top money earning clinics we've had. History. Yes. In history. In history. It does not say, no. It just says exit at a walker trap. So you can choose whatever you like. You're welcome. All right, so Michelle's gonna talk a little bit about her experience with the Pro Horseman Crisis Fund and um, how it benefited her. Welcome, Michelle. Thanks, Megan. Thanks for doing the clinic tonight. We appreciate everyone coming out to this clinic. 
Uh, the professional horsemen we enjoy actually doing this and helping you guys prepare for the patterns that you're going to show. As we do this, it, all these proceeds and the QR codes and the buckets that get passed around, they go to the crisis fund. And what we use the crisis fund for is a professional horseman in a time of need where there's medical, a natural disaster, something tragic that's happened. I uh, never in a million years thought I would have to benefit from it, but I, I did. I had to use it when I was diagnosed with cancer in 2019. And with all the stuff that you're trying to deal with when you have something like that come into your life, it was a great feeling of, of relief knowing that they had my back and support me. So I urge each and every one of you, these have been the top raising, as Mandy said and Terrence told me, three times what we've ever raised in the past. So please give us, you know, give up the more Starbucks that you can. Uh, but please consider donating the crisis fund because it does help. It's helped numerous other professional horsemen in their time of need. So we do appreciate every dollar that you give us is matched by the event. So thank you very much. I think I'm on your line. So we're doing the 13 under eight. Oh, that one's. All right, so our next pattern's going to be the level three 13 and under pattern. Um, the cone is set 24 feet off the wall. It's right diagonal to our sit trot up the center line. That should be a nice corner up the line. Right lead around. Nice circle about a third of the pattern. This is a walk, and this is a maneuver through the pattern, not a simple lead change. So make sure you walk and show your walk as it's its own maneuver. Left lead. Hand galloping around the bottom, back up the center, collecting when she gets to the center. Left diagonal, two square corners, which should be slightly below center. Stopping and backing, exiting out of trot. Specifically says trot. We probably should do that one more time. One second, let me talk about my dimensions real quick. Yeah, and your, your corners start before the jumbo trone. Right, low. There are two dots. But do I need to come down here less? Because you kind of move forward, so I figured that that means I need to stay up I just wasn't sure what you were, I was trying to stay out of your way. Yeah, okay. come down back to your cone. I didn't know if I was going to. <clears throat> so your start cone's, again, 24 feet off of the grate, just above the John Justin sign. We're gonna do the 13 under pattern one more time. Are you good? Yes. 24 feet off the wall, across from the grate, just above the John Justin sign. Right diagonal on the diagonal line. Make sure if you have a bobble, you keep showing through your pattern. Square up down your center line when you go to your sit trot. You're gonna canter your right, right lead loop around, across about a third of the arena. Breaking to your walk, showing a nice forward walk.
Transition into the left lead. Soft corner. All the way down the wall. And then we're gonna hand gallop the end. Back up to the center line. When we get to the center line, we're gonna collect our canter and trot left diagonal. Two square corners before center. Ride to a halt. Back and pattern is complete. Exit at a trot. Good job, Jess. Is there any questions for the 13 and under pattern? Yes. I cannot hear. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you do trot to the X. For where she was at. Okay. I would say you're correct. <laughs> I mean, Patty said that you trot to the center. Yeah, she specifically said trot to the center, square up, down, nice square corner down the center of the arena. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. Okay, we're going to move on to our final pattern, which is our 14 through 18 prelims pattern. Level 3, 14 through 18 prelims pattern. There will be, for those that make the finals, there will be a meeting held after the prelims for um, everybody talk over the finals pattern. So you'll meet at the steward booth after the prelims and you'll talk over the finals pattern and they'll give you specifics on everything for that pattern. Yes. Okay. The buckets are still going around, so be sure to donate. The cue cards are still going around. You can use your phone. Donate money that way. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm trying to move it along because you know everybody wants to. Move. Well, they're all anxious. I hate when they just get up and walk out. They're all like. It's hard not to take it personally, but oh, it's just because no, they saw my pattern. Yeah, then yeah. everybody needs to go to bed. Is that color going to be on the wall like that? Yes. So the cone for this pattern is on the wall underneath the bow ringer sign. The BI. The BI sign. Thanks. Yeah. Um, it's directly under the sign, and it will be on the wall. One more pattern. Are you good? You think so? Level. <laughs> yeah. So walk forward approximately two horse lengths and back over your tracks. Making sure you have a forward walk. Patty really emphasized on forward. 
flowing trot right diagonal until we get even with X. And we're going to do a nice square corner under the jumbotron, up the center line into our sit trot. Countering left lead, we get to the top of our arc. We're going to pick up our hand gallop. Make sure you shorten your reins when you get into our two point positions. Back down to the center, collecting our canter. There's a short counter canter to a lead change. This circle drops down to your cone, just like she did, to your left diagonal. Two square corners at the two point trot. Down to your sit trot. When even with the start cone, you halt. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and the pattern is complete and exit at a walk. So. We're going to run through our level three pattern one more time. Walking forward, approximately two horse lengths, backing over our tracks. Right diagonal to the center. Corner when you're on the center line, sit trot. Lope left lead. Around to the top of the arc, where you're going to hang gallop and find your diagonal line back to the center of the center line, where you're going to sit and collect your canter. Short counter canter to a lead change. Back up to your center line. Trot left diagonal once on the center line. Two point trot, shortening my reins as I'm getting into the two point trot. Two square corners. And then down to my sit trot, back to my cone. Show a halt. And walking out. Is there any other questions for pattern three, level three, pattern 14 through 18? Prelims? You guys are so good, there's no questions. All right, well thanks Jess for demonstrating all those patterns last minute on a green horse. And thank you guys for coming.